Now, Azepam is a brilliant medication for sleep. It helps with anxiety as well. It has a calming effect and we usually give it as a five milligram dose to help with sleep. It usually works within 30 minutes of taking it. However, the problem with Azepam is that if you take it, you might have a very good sleep where basically if your baby is crying, you might be knocked out and you might not hear your baby crying. So just be aware of that fact that though Diazepam works very well for sleep, you might not be that alert if something was to happen in the house, um, if there was a fire in the house or baby crying or burglary going on, just be aware that Diazepam has that kind of effect to knock you out. In some cases, the reason why we're very reluctant to give diazepam is simply because it has an addictive effect because it works too well for sleep and we usually give diazepam as a short-term medication so we normally say look do not take diazepam for more than two weeks for instance or some doctors might be a bit more stingy and give it to you for just a week we have people who have been so addicted to diazepam that they have to rely on diazepam for sleep like they'll say doctor i need my diazepam today i cannot sleep tonight if i don't have my diazepam and that is a problem we've had people who've been on diazepam for over 20 years because they cannot sleep without taking diazepam for that night and it's becoming a major problem you know in our medical field where we're trying to get these patients off diazepam but it's too reliant on it and it, go, it gets to the point as well where basically a five milligram dose of diazepam no longer works for you and that's what we call tolerance where your body is so used to taking the diazepam that now you need a higher dose of diazepam to help you sleep. So we do find some people taking 10 milligrams or even 20 milligrams of diazepam to help them get to sleep. So diazepam, good medication for sleep, however, it has to be taken on a short term basis.